hi welcome back to my channel so i have another pick a card reading this pick a card reading will be how does your crush feel about you so i have four piles to choose from today the first pile will be the citrine bring in the light second pile will be the cellulite clear the clutter third pile will be the rose quartz open up your heart and then the fourth pile will be the angel light support is all around you so use your intuition take your time and i'll see you at your reading Hi, pile one. So this is the pile that chose citrine, bringing the light. So this is how your crush feels about you. We could get some messages in this pile about how they view you so far as well. How does pile one feel? about the viewer how does pile one feel about the viewer we got six, number 16 awareness scorpio energy some of you guys can have scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with a scorpio or somebody has scorpio placements don't have to be but what i'm getting from that card is they feel like you're very self-aware you're very self-absorbed you're very self-confident and you're super confident yeah like you know who you are you know what you bring to the table you know how beautiful you are um they feel a lot of energy coming off of you so they feel like a lot of like i don't know they feel energized when they're around you so yeah like a lot of energy with that red there they love to take action when they're with you they feel like they need to take action um in order to have you towards you to give you things and stuff like that like so yeah okay let's see queen of wands you guys have a mutual sexual attraction to each other or you could be a um have fire placements as well as them Or it could have started off very sexual or something like that. Five of Cups. So yeah, I just feel like from that coming out, your crush could have went through a lot in their previous relationships and they've learned a lot from their previous relationships. So for this like situation that you got going on, even if it's not a serious one, they just want to have fun with you and they want to... Make sure that they fulfill all your needs for the time being because they know how relationships are. Um, it's not really guaranteed. So it's kind of like this person wants to be like the one and only for right now and make sure that they're always on their like toes, if that makes sense, because they want to like make you happy and they want to. They want to just like compete for you and not be afraid to compete for you if that makes sense like they want to kind of like give it their all so because of how beautiful and gorgeous you are to this person like you're very very beautiful and very attractive and stunning and they feel like they just want to treat you like you're the only girl in the world basically it's how your crush feels yeah then i I don't even have to explain. I just explained and this popped out. King of Cups. That's exactly what I was saying. Rom romance. Like they want to just be. They want to be vulnerable and open with their feelings. And not be afraid of getting hurt. Because they know they're going to experience some type of like. You know. they don't, And they especially don't want their own insecurities to get in the way. Like they don't want to self-sabotage. If that makes sense. They definitely manifested you with the magician at the top. Yeah, with the moon. Damn, the moon came out with the Ace of Swords. This, your crush has been through some stuff with these three cards. That's giving they they've been through life. Okay. 
And your crush, I feel like, was lonely before they met you, if that makes sense. They were very lonely before they met you, and you give them, you make them feel things again. Chariot, they could be a cancer, have cares and placements, they don't have to be, um... But um, with that coming out, let's see. How does this person feel about Taurus Power One? Like, what are their feelings right now? Oh my gosh, what was that? The Nine of Cups. Um, what? You make them feel like how they want to feel when it comes to a connection so i feel like even if they were like say they were dealing with someone and they still felt lonely they feel they still felt alone like if that makes sense i don't know if you guys have ever been through that but like imagine being with someone and still feeling alone still feeling lonely and still feeling misunderstood or looked over or not paid attention to like i feel like they just still feel like they didn't truly connect with that person that they were dealing with. And even for some of you guys, they were just literally alone, like single. They didn't really want to deal with another person. But I just feel like a sense of like loneliness, like nobody's that like people are hearing this person, but not really listening or people are listening and not really understanding or wanting to understand this person. I feel like how they feel towards you is they just get this overwhelming, exciting feeling that comes over them whenever you call or text them or come see them or when you guys hang out with the nine of cups that's giving like an excitement or a new joy for something a new feeling for something like you make them just feel alive again is what i get so this person could have just been like super depressed before you or you're helping them realize a lot about like their previous state before you came into their life like you help them you open their eyes but oh awareness you open their eyes to how they were previous feeling before you because some people will be going through stuff and don't even know because they've been going through it for a while or putting up with certain bullshit for a while so awareness number 16 scorpio energy is kind of giving like the tower energy because scorpio um the tower i'm surprised the tower didn't come out but that's like destroying illusions and stuff like that you're very powerful power one that's what i was getting from the red dress she's wearing <laughs> so you just make people want to do things for you and like the people appreciate you this your crush appreciates you and that's why they don't want anybody else like having you if that makes sense like very possessive um very possessive king of cups here no wonder the king of wands wanted to come out you know so yeah that's what i have for you for how your crush feels if it did help and did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next video hi pal two welcome to your reading so this will be those of you guys that chose the citrine clear the clutter so let's see how your crush feels about you Sue's crush feel about them? How does their crush feel? The person I'm proud to be mine, how do they feel? Can I get a card for how they feel? We got trust. Number 14. Hmm. And we got power at the top of the deck, number 36. Hmm. I felt drawn to pull out two. Spirit said pull out two. We got the water and the fire. So somebody got water placements, majority water placements, somebody has majority fire placements. Water and fire are dealing with each other, but I just feel like this person, this could be a crush you already like been dealing with. This don't have to be like a new crush. It could just be like an ongoing like flame. 
fling flame summer fling something some summer romance something somebody could have been born in the summertime or both of you guys are summer babies but i just feel like something to do with like a fling like a heavy like chemistry a heavy burn for someone like this is like heavy 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 desire for a lot of you guys i picked this pile like this is somebody like you guys this person can't let go of you you can't let go of them it's like a powerful connection a very intimate it could even be a very intimate secretive connection for some of you guys because with this picture it's giving like secretive so i don't know if you guys have to kind of like sneak away to be with each other or kind of like it's like giving secrecy for a lot of you guys don't mean it's all of you guys but for a lot of you guys that picked this pile it's like some type of like equal like bond or trust not to tell anything or not to like i don't know it's like this person like really holds you close to their heart literally look how hold, like how he's holding her and how he, she's holding him in this car it's like you guys are holding each other it's like a it's like what's felt doesn't need to be explained type of energy like you kind of know what's up with this person they know what's up like i don't know or the feeling is very mutual but i think it's just a lot with like self-expression or something that need to be something that needs to be expressed i feel like so how your crush feels about them you already telepathically know i think you kind of just want to have clarification in this reading because you get a lot of telepathy excuse me you get a lot of telepathy telepathy in this pile meaning like you feel this person hear this person get messages through different things from this person synchronicity the angel numbers stuff like that like it could be anything things that things are colors or animals that remind you of this person and vice versa like you could see their car everywhere they see your car they think they see you out and about and stuff like that or i don't know it's like a lot going on with this connection where it's like very very strong Unfortunately, it could be a taboo connection. So a lot of you guys or some of you guys can't really have this relationship out in the public or the public eye or something like that. Somebody could be in the public eye. I'm not sure. Don't have to be, but I'm just getting something to the public. So I don't know. I don't know the reason why, but... How does this person feel about Pao Tu? What do they want to tell Pao Tu? Because that's what I heard. Death. Oh my god. It's like some of you guys, this person is crushed without you. Like, that's crazy. This is a crush read, and I said they're crushed. But yeah, they feel crushed. Like, they could have got some like heavy news other than what I just said, like, I don't know, like some bad news or some heavy news or some difficulties that they want to kind of just be alone with you. Like they really, really, really want to be alone with you. Um, they feel devastated with would not being able to be with you for some of you guys queen of swords yeah some of you guys like literally broke it off with them like you wouldn't want to break it off or you said some things that made them made them had to break it off like something happened also you could be an air sign um hmm. they want to talk to you without interference Strength. It could be a Leo, Scorpio, King of Swords. They really want to talk to you. Oh my God. Y'all saw that? The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords at the top of the deck. I shuffled a bit. Now the King of Swords at the top of the deck. They want to speak to you. Face to face. They want to talk to you. They need it. Like they really need to talk to you. Want to talk to you. It's like a deep desire, like a strong desire to like talk to you. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what happened with the death or what's going on with the death energy, but they really need to talk to you. They, they want some type of understanding. 
but you guys already have like a spiritual understanding though some of you guys this is like a deep 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 like rooted soul tie maybe you tried to banish them off or cut the soul tie and they tried to cut the soul tie with the two two queen king of swords but it did not work it's not happening like you guys have unfinished business probably for some of you guys in the spiritual realm but it just you guys just can't get over each other i feel like you guys are trying to get over each other possibly you guys made the conscious decision to kind of cut things off both of you guys but it's not working with the strength being here okay let's see How does this person feel towards Pansu? Two of Wands. They don't really know what to do with themselves. At all. If you guys aren't speaking, they really don't know what to do with themselves. Or if you guys are like on good terms, but like this is like a private relationship, they just be missing you so much. They don't know what to do with themselves. They be wanting you so badly, missing you so badly, craving you. Like this person has like a sexual appetite for you. A very strong one. Like they don't have appetite for anything else, anyone else. Just sex, love, nothing. Yep, Queen of Wands wanted to peek out. Didn't she come out? No, that was Queen of Wands. Some of you guys, did she? No. Nah. So some of you guys have fire and air in your chart. Two of Pentacles. Didn't I say this person's kind of like feeling it? Like, not even kind of. Like, they're just all over the place. They can't really concentrate on anything that they're doing. They can't find anyone else interesting. person could even say your name aloud when they're with other people or they just find themselves talking about you a lot like this person has their name in your your name in their mouth and it tastes really really good <laughs> This is what I heard. Okay, let's see. How else do they feel? Tastes delicious. Six of Pentacles. Wanted to come out with. Look at that top of the deck. This person in love with you. Infatuated in love. They like. They are like down bad for real for you. I think they're just like kind of like surprised maybe even that they kind of fell for you and depending on the connection they could be even a little bit embarrassed or ashamed that they or mm, or somebody for some from some of you guys they feel bitter about something I don't know, but it's different for you. Or like a grudge. Or just super surprised that they feel this way. They feel it in all of you. They don't know what happened. They didn't expect it. It came out of nowhere. And they just feel this warmth in their heart for you. And this burning desire that just won't go away. No matter what it what this person tries to feed it like if it tries to feed that desire with something else or someone else it doesn't work as as like how you you <laughs> you guys get what i'm saying tower oh my god 
That's double Scorpio, but I just knew that was going to come out. It's like, it's like if, if they're dealing with anybody else, I'm not sure if they are. This could actually be a boyfriend, but what I'm getting from most of you guys is not really a boyfriend. It's like a secret connection. could be most of you guys, but like the tower energy is like if they're dealing with somebody else, it's like you get out like when you're finished having sex or like if they just eat, they just get bored. They don't have feelings for nobody else. Like they try to, I feel like. Maybe. Maybe they try. But I think at this point they just gave up. They're like, I'm not gonna find anybody else like Pow Two. Queen of Swords. <laughs> Again at the top of the deck. Nine of Wands. Let me get one more. Temperance. You got an attitude, Pow Two. Ooh, I'll look at the top of decks and said you got attitude. They like your attitude though. They love your attitude. I mean, they feel like you're toxic, Pow Two, but they love it at the same time. They don't know what's wrong with them. They know they shouldn't like it as much as they like it. Like they know she shouldn't, but they love it or they're starting to love it. Look at this. Cause like they feel like you have a bad attitude. <clears throat> like you're feisty, very. And as soon as I said that, I saw five, five, five. <laughs> so yeah, that's how your crush feels about you and views you, <clears throat> pal too. So if it did help and it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Hi, pal three. Welcome to your reading. So this will be. For those of you guys that chose the rose quartz, open up your heart. Why am I getting emotional already? Like I'm really getting teary eyed. How does this person feel about Power 3? How do they feel about Power 3? Please, can I get one card? Just show me how this person feels about Power 3. Fulfillment. Honestly, for a lot of you guys, this person has been crying. Number 35, fulfillment. For how they feel. <laughs> this is a very interesting, let me see this really quick. Hold on, you guys, let me channel. It's like this person feels, your crush um, feels like they owe you something. Could be an apology, could be a gift, could be their life force, like their whole entire life. Like, I don't know why I'm getting that. Somebody like feels like they owe you something. Like, I don't know. This could be a past person. This could be a new person. It could be whoever, even if they, it just like, this could just feel like past life to them. Your crush feels like this is a past life connection. And when they look into your eyes, they feel like they've seen you before, known you before, and stuff like that. Or you remind them of someone that they really, really miss. Oh, wow. Okay. So this could be like you remind them of somebody that passed over. Like you give them that same feeling that that person used to give them. And it could be a romantic lover. It doesn't have to be. It could actually be a family member or a friend or it could be really anybody but they just have this feeling of that same feeling inside their heart that you give them like whenever you smile at them whenever you look at them whatever you hold their hand um so is this really a crush i'm not really sure it could be a crush or they're developing a crush like i feel like this person's kind of trying to like keep themselves together and not come off like you know like a weirdo or someone who 
is already in love with you type of energy like i feel like they're trying to get to know you for who you are but you remind them of someone it's like or they just feel comfortable with you as if you remind them of someone it, it doesn't even have to be that for all of you guys but it's just like you give them this nostalgic um nurturing a mothering feeling almost it's like you kind of like make them get super emotional and make them feel super close to home and super like yeah some of you guys you make them just feel like their home place wherever they're from some of you guys are from like a different like country altogether or a different state it doesn't matter but you just make them feel closer to home you make them feel like they're home again stuff like that they feel just super comfortable with you um pile three is how your crush feels super comfortable like this person will like they'll it's like they'll just give the heart away or give something away to you like without thinking about it because they just feel so comfortable with you they know that you will do no harm so this person desperately desperately misses you and they feel just so nostalgic about you so some of you guys it definitely could be an ex or somebody that you no longer talk to or you don't talk to them as much or you guys could be talking it's just you make them feel this way that they haven't felt in a long, 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 long time since this person has passed away or since, you know, since they were a child in their home, wherever they grew up, you make them feel that way again. Like they just are a child or a teen or wherever they have a specific moment that gave them deep comfort, you make them feel like they're there again. So yeah. So they've just been crying over you, missing you, um, you make them cry, like happy tears, sad tears, um, alchemy tears, like spiritual awakening tears, definitely a kundalini relationship, you guys both give each other kundalini awakening, stuff like that. I ain't even pulling out cards yet, I'm just... Let's see what wants to come out though for this pile. It's pretty self-explanatory though. Look what I said. You could see that in that one particular card, what I was explaining. And then as soon as I cut the deck to shuffle for you guys, the six of cups. Need I say, I don't even need to say anything further, but yeah, that's confirmation about what I was saying. How they just wanna add, like give to you without thinking about it. And how you make them feel like a child again and how you make them feel like they're at home and you make them feel so safe with you and stuff like that and how you remind them of someone if that's if that resonates someone that they love somebody that they care about like you could even remind them of somebody that is still alive you know what i'm saying like they don't the person that you remind them of don't even didn't even have to pass away it's just you remind them of that person they were really 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 once really close to or still is close with or you just make them feel like they've known you before when they were younger like you guys were supposed to be best friends like if that makes sense or you guys in a past life were probably brother and sister. I'm not sure. And now you're lovers in this life if you guys believe in that. But that's how you make your crush feel. <laughs> oh my god, the Empress. With the Queen of Cups. You could be a water sign or an earth sign or have these placements in your chart. don't have to be, but definitely remind them like you give them so much feelings are brought up when they think of you when they're, yeah. Strength, oh my gosh. Some of you guys could be a Leo or they could be, but damn, that's what I'm saying. You make them feel like they're in a magical place. Somebody's calling me. So this person's going to call you really, really soon. They really want to see you. Somebody's really calling me. Five of Wands. For how they feel with the strength. 
like i want to apologize for something for some of you guys that's only for like a specific amount of you guys that they want to apologize for some type of argument that you guys could have had that was literally just a misunderstanding or they were literally at wrong and they really really want to apologize because they really really miss this connection with the six of swords for some of you guys but that's definitely not for all you guys how does this person fit two of cups they feel like they want to be in a relationship <laughs> they want to be in a relationship with you power three i think that's what that the call is going to be about or the discussion is going to be about being in a relationship with you or it could be friendship with the two of cups but i feel like if it's a crush most of you guys they want to be in a relationship They're noticing that they have very, very intense feelings for you, Pile 3. So it could have started off as friendship. Yeah, as soon as I said that the Six of Cups came out, it could have started as something very innocent, very pure. And it still is innocent and pure, but they kind of just, some of you guys, they want more. They want sex. Or that's how they feel that they want to try that out. If it's possible. If you're not uncomfortable. If, you, if you're not uncomfortable with that idea, they want to have sex now they want to go to that level with you eight of wands that's for those that haven't had sex with this person obviously but yeah because some of you guys already had sex with the eight of wands knight of pentacles they don't mind taking things slow though they don't mind your crush don't mind taking things slow if you want to take things slow and if you're not ready for the things that they're ready for with the eight of wands they respect your decision we got the tower they feel extremely emotional look at this wow This person is working on healing. You inspire this person. You inspire your crush to heal. They are doing some deep healing in this pile. Like some deep, deep healing. Like a deep, like they're going through a deep transformation. Like they feel very overwhelmed and emotional. They're just letting all the cups fall or whatever needs to fall. Like they're just like giving up on it like they're like fuck it i'm gonna like let this tower fall even though i'm scared of this transformation type energy i don't know like they're just really emotional they feel very emotional about this connection like this this connection brings back a lot of memories and even if this is a new person that you guys really don't have that many memories it's just you like i said it's like this is past life emperor this person has like a bigger purpose or you bring that out of them you bring the emperor oh yeah we did see the empress yeah we did see her so you bring the emperor out of this person and it kind of could scare them but it makes them feel really really good and that's what makes this person like super obsessed with like this connection overall and you but just like obsessed with that feeling like it makes this they value this connection, basically. A crush values this connection. They have a lot of, like, love, hope, respect, um, and purity when it comes to this connection. They have a lot of hope and faith. I think they, like, just... Six of Pentacles. Let me get one more card. How I feel about pop. That's two, <laughs> but it was these two that came out. Hierophant and the Knight of Wands with the Ten of Swords. It's like they gotta be with you, like, and they really want answers. Like they're searching for answers. 
Some of you guys are a siren. That's loud. Oh, yeah. Hmm. But also a Knight of Wands, I'm crying. So that's like them like wanting to come come towards you. Like they just really need that. Like they are obsessed with that feeling you give to them. Okay, let me see. Can I get one more? Just one more card. How this person feels. Five of Wands. One more. Knight of Pentacles. One more. I know I said one more, one more, one more, and I keep... <laughs> Masculine, divine masculine, divine feminine. They just gotta let go of some things. Um, I feel like that could ruin, that have the possibility to ruin this connection. Got a lot of fives here. So yeah, I feel like there's challenges in this relationship with your crush that happens, but I just feel like you're the only person that gives them that feeling that I was talking about in the beginning. And they, they've been searching for that for a long time. And I just feel like they finally got you and they finally got that. So they don't want to ruin it. So if you just want to be friends, they respect that. If you want to be more like they want more, then they want to explore that because this person wants like a more sexual, intimate connection. They want to see what that's about because they already feel very drawn to you emotionally and spiritually but they kind of want to explore that side of like the sexuality part of it but they'll go as slow as you want to take it even though they're kind of like in a rush kind of like what i was saying before that's how they feel but they want to respect your boundaries i don't know some of you guys could have gotten an argument because they didn't respect your boundaries or they got too excited and overstepped your boundaries so that could have been a thing for some of you guys but yeah that's how your crush feels pal three if it did help and it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post how does power four feel or how does power four's person feel about How do they feel? That's power force crush. How does power force crush feel? <laughs> Ten of Cups. I did see the um I did see Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, so they could feel like you're smarter than them, like more witty, more intelligent, or you just know more in a certain aspect, so I don't know really what it's about. It could be spirituality, it could be love, it could be, or it could be a lot of things, like they just feel like you're super, super intelligent, super, super witty is how this person feels. They feel like your crush feels, or they know they can learn a lot from you, and they kind of want, they do want to learn a lot. They do want, excuse me, they do want to learn a lot from you, power four. <laughs> so this person could get tongue-tied or you could get tongue-tied. Somebody like, you know, they kind of just like to listen to you talk. I heard they like to listen to you talk. So for if that first part didn't resonate, it could resonate. But something else wants to come out for the queen of swords and the page of swords that I saw for this pile. And that was that they love to hear you talk. They love your voice. It's very hypnotizing it's very beautiful it's very soft it's very just when they hear your voice they just know that you're their person like they just know they just want to stop and listen to you talk all day long like they really really love the sound of your voice the sound of their, the sound of your voice makes your crush's day they love to call you they like they love to facetime you they love, they love to text you they love to give voice notes from you they love to just hear your voice or some of you guys, they just, I don't know, they love your voice. Like, I can't stop repeating that. Your crush loves your voice, so. But they also love that you're smart. They feel like it's a turn on. Five of Swords. 
they could feel like you're like a you're very charming and you're very manipulative as well or you can be very cunning and manipulative if you are in that type of mood your crush feels like or they just kind of just worry about because i feel like you're a very smooth talker in this pow pow four if you're very smooth with your words um so it's kind of like they kind of have their not their doubts but they kind of worry about like what's true and what's not true like yeah you are really like player in this pile knight of cups is how your crush feels like you say the right things you tell them exactly what they need to hear like how they want to hear it stuff like that you're very smooth like they feel like you just i don't know they could feel like you're a trickster with the five of swords we also got the six of swords so it's like you're very soothing at the same time so i feel like this person just they're just enjoying the moment with you because i feel like they really don't know because that's like total opposite cards but it all has to do with like your throat chakra just how good you are at talking and how manipulative you are but also how like like how good you are with your words your crush is uh page of cups they're definitely crushing on you page of cups is just confirm like confirmation we got the queen of pentacles at the top of the deck so you could be an air sign or a earth sign gemini libra aquarius um i wanted to say pisces some of you guys are definitely a pisces um but um virgo taurus capricorn you could be any sign but that's just what wanted to come out so far or it could be a sign you're dealing with sagittarius wanted to come out temperance um hmm your crush thinks about having kids with you and then mother father baby man woman child the triangle on the chest is that that's what that represents man woman child and also man woman children so and then a house in the back also you could be dealing with a cancer or you're a cancer or you're a sag but your crush wants to move things forward definitely they be thinking about long term for sure in this file. Like, even if you guys aren't together, yeah, they be thinking about long, long term in this file. They kind of feel like for some of you guys, they kind of feel like they're a little bit corny. There go, there she is, Queen of Swords. They could have, they could feel kind of like you got a lot of game in this pile, pile four. Like you have game, you be spitting, you be spitting with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, you make this person want to do anything for you your crush they will do anything for you literally knight of wands like you have this person on their toes ready to give like do anything you say you have this person wrapped around your finger that's exactly what i'm reading you have your crush wrapped around your finger you have your crush eating out of the palm of your hand yeah yeah ace of cups this person's like already in love with you is what I want to say. They're already in love with you. Page of Swords. There go the Page of Swords. That I saw in the beginning, the Queen in the Page. But he actually came all the way out. The queen of swords at the top of the deck but it's just that's what i'm saying this person's like this person's even surprised about how whipped you got them it could have been a sex it don't even have to be it's not even the sex though it's not i promise you power four it's not it's like this person's really with the page of swords they're kind of like wait a minute like i'm even surprised that i'm like this over her they're like, this is strange. This is very strange. But they're intrigued with the Knight of Wands. <laughs> yeah, they're intrigued. They're they're like fascinated. because of how fast you got them to fall in love, how fast you got them obsessed with you. 
like it was quick. This person's trying to figure you out. Your crush is trying to figure you out. Power four. They could even think you're a little bit like crazy or like they just don't know what's going, like how you did it, how, what's going on, you know? Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God. This person could be giving you a mad money, like a lot of money, a lot of attention, a lot of like affection, like super upset, super excited, super like energized. Like they just want to be around. Like that's what I'm saying. You got this person doing things they've never really done before ever. Yep. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Oh my God. This man look like lost. Like he look in a trance. But he's not leaving. He don't want to leave. Your crush will give you anything in this pile. Anything you want, anything you ask for. If they got to go rob to give you what you asking for, that's what they finna go do, rob. If they need to go, you know, I don't want to say certain stuff on YouTube, but they just got to do and You know what I'm saying? Like They would really like, you know, get their hands dirty to get you, get, do whatever to have you, I guess, to make you like, I don't know. Yeah. This person's dangerous. This person will do some dangerous stuff to keep you proud for, and I'm so serious. And I mean that when I say that, they'll do some dangerous things to keep you with the devil. They don't really give a fuck. <laughs> they don't care. Um, yeah, so that's what I have for you, Fire Crush Feels. Um, if it did help and just like your situation, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next post.